Hello everyone. Today we are going to read our chapter 7 Run Bulbul Run. This short story is about the close friendship between a young horse and a 12 year old boy. Section 1 Ramzan Guru watched his horse snort defiantly. Then his horse reared so quickly that Ramzan's father lost his balance and was thrown to the ground. "Father!" cried Ramzan Guru. "Father!" He crossed the yard towards the horse and reached the tall man who had jumped to his feet angrily this horse has to go yes yes what good is it to us if it throws its own master he never throws me said ramzan guiltily he never throws you thundered his father his face red with rage but he has thrown me thrice and soon he'll start throwing the tourist and what will that do to our business may i ask no ramzan the moment i get a buyer i'm going to sell bulbul now take him to the international camp and see that you get a few good trips we need some money Yes father said Ramzan defiantly avoiding his father's eyes he took the horse by the reins and fled as he walked bulbul through the village he talked to him listen raja bulbul i know you hear me you are my horse nobody loves you more than i do But if you want to stay with me you have to behave yourself you must not throw anybody especially not father will you promise me that the horse looked at the 12 year old boy with his large liquid shining eyes he neighed and rubbed his soft nose against ramzan's shoulder Ramzan patted Bulbul's beautifully shaped head and stroked his soft white coat. "Come on now," he said. "Let's go to earn some money." Ramzan mounted the horse and galloped down the road. They soon reached the large camping site. He didn't have to wait long before Bulbul was chosen by a tourist. Ramzan helped his customer into the saddle and handed him the reins. Then he guided the horse down the slope onto the main road to Aru. And while Ramzan encouraged Bulbul with soft clicking sounds as he trotted behind, he kept thinking about what he could do to change his father's mind. On reaching Aru village he took the money he had earned safely into the inner pocket of his clothes and made his way to the roadside tea shop leaving bulbul to graze he sat down with a large glass of tea and a couple of dry buns Ramzan's eyes swept over the valley's snow covered mountains He didn't like the color of the sky. It looked gray and ominous and the air was dangerously still. He could smell a storm brewing, a big one. Section 2. Ramzan finished his tea quickly, fetched the horse and told the owner of the shop, "I would better hurry." I don't want to reach home drenched to the skin. He galloped down the road along the Lidder River. An hour later, a gust of wind swept through the trees. 
Their branches bend and sweat as the gale screams through their leaves. Ramzan looked up and watched large black clouds crawl over the sky, spreading out like gigantic monsters, hiding the far away snow peaked mountains. And from beyond the mountain came the first faint rumble of approaching thunder. If I take the shortcut, I might just make it home in time, Ramzan thought. He said, "Come on, Bulbul, let's go." He guided the horse into the woods onto a small bridle path. Overhead he heard the wind tear at the branches it swished through the underwood and whipped into ramzan's face robbing him of his breath hari bulbul urged the boy crouching low over the horse's neck run the horse galloped on sure-footed and confident He knew the forest as well as his master, maybe even better. The first drops of rain drummed onto on the leaves. A blinding flash lit the sky, and an ear-splitting crash echoed and re-echoed in the valley. The horse pricked his ears, tightened the reins, tightening the reins. Ramzan cocks the tense horse easy now easy you are doing fine bulbul neighed and tossed his head another series of quick flashes of lightning pierced the darkness of the wood the boy and the horse came to a halt immobilized with fear and then it happened The next flash was so close Ramzan thought it had struck him a deafening thunderbolt almost jerked him off the saddle the horse whinnied and strained against the reins he reared up and neighed frantic- frantically down down ordered Ramzan Down that's a good horse and he pressed his heels gently into the horse's flanks the horse stood rigid all his senses attuned to danger then from the tree overhead ramzan heard a deafening moan he looked up and stared at a heavy branch splitting off the trunk and as if in slow motion dived down straight at him section 3 before the horse could move the branch struck ramzan on his shoulder he was thrown off the saddle and flung to the ground a wild mass of leaves and twigs buried him pinned him down and held him captive bulbul he muttered helplessly as sharp and short through the left side of his body high above him another flash of thunder tore through the sky and then the rain began to pelt down soaking the ground and everything around him ramzan moaned deeply He did not feel the rain nor did he hear the horse who snorted and whinnied pitifully in an attempt to rouse him When he opened his eyes the storm had spent its fury Ramzan tried to free himself from the tangle of green He squirmed and twisted his body under the heavy load and then with almost superhuman effort he pushed himself up and called out to the horse Bulbul help the horse appeared from out of nowhere he lowered his head and nuzzled the injured boy Bulbul 
Ramzan wept in relief. He knew he wouldn't be able to mount the horse. He had to wait till someone found him. But nobody knew where he was. They wouldn't know where to search for him. Raja Bulbul sobbed the boy, What shall I do? The horse neighed softly and then moved restlessly trying to urge his master onto the saddle. Bulbul said Ramjan urgently, Listen to me. You have to go home, home Raja. He stressed home. You have to call father, bring him here, get him please. The horse stood still, he was breathing rapidly. His eyes were fixed on his master. His eyes twisted backwards and forwards restlessly as he tried to follow each of Ramzan's words. Bulbul said Ramzan pulling the horse's head down and patting him lovingly. Run home as fast as you can. Bring father here, bring him here. He let go of the reins and ordered, Go home, run Bulbul, run. Then another spasm of pain shook his body. The horse stood rigid. His nostrils flared and his magnificent body trembled. But he did not move. Ramzan ordered one last time. Go home, Bulbul. Bring father. The horse stepped back and gazed at his master with large puzzled eyes. Go, cried Ramzan. Please. Bulbul reared on his legs, whinnied, then turned and ran. Section 4 The horse galloped through the night. Twigs and branches whipped his body, scratched his coat and tugged at the reins hanging loosely by his side. He ran on at great speed, jumping over rivulets, crossing rickety wooden bridges over mountain streams. He didn't stop. He charged on till he reached the village and hoofs thundering, galloped straight into the courtyard. He stopped in front of the house reared up and whinnied loudly. He whinnied again and again till the door opened and Ramzan's father appeared. Ramzan, he ca called into the ring, Is that you, boy? Only the heavy snorting of the horse was heard and the thud of his hooves as he shifted nervously. The horse drew closer and stood before him on trembling legs. It is Bulbul, shouted Ramzan's father. Ramzan's mother cried, Ramzan, where is Ramzan? Oh Allah, what has happened? That devil of a horse must have thrown him, roared Ramzan's father. I knew he was good for nothing. He threw me just this morning. He must have thrown Ramzan too. I'll kill that horse. I'll kill him. No, please, stop, stop, cried Ramzan's mother. Bulbul would never throw Ramzan. Maybe there was an accident. Perhaps Ramzan was unable to ride home and Bulbul has come to fetch us. Please don't hit the horse. See, he is calling you. I can feel it. He wants you to follow him. I am not mounting that devil, replied Ramzan's father. 
then i will go said ramzan's mother picking up her shawl as she readied herself to step into the ra- rain ramzan's father said wearily very well i'll try but go quickly cried ramzan's mother i know he'll take you to ramzan be gentle talk to him softly he is a good horse but you must know how to handle him hesitantly ramzan's father walked through the rain towards the horse he walked slowly talking to him the way he had heard ramzan talk to him raja bulbul he said you love your master yes you are ramzan's horse i know i know now your master is in danger only you and i can help him we must reach him fast as fast as you can take me let me mount you now come on bulbul it's for your master's sake his voice had grown softer reduced to a mere whisper bulbul stiffened took a step back and looked at the man slowly the man re- stretched out his hand and touched the horse's coat rubbing it gently then holding on to the saddle he mounted slowly with care the horse snorted softly good horse good horse murmured ramzan's father patting his horse's head let's go bulbul take us to ramzan before he left the village ramzan's father stopped briefly to ask some neighbors for help They were soon in the forest climbing mountain roads crossing bridges over turbulent mountain streams and bulbul ran on Ramzan the man shouted occasionally It's your abbu Ramzan Suddenly bulbul reared snorted loudly and broke into a wild gallop I think I can see him cried Ramzan's father Yes there is a l- there he is lying near a broken tree Ramzan oh Ramzan the horse seemed to fly the last few meters Ramzan's father jumped off and was by his son's side in a second Ramzan he whispered lifting the boy's head gently ramzan lay very still his face was blue from the cold and pinched with pain slowly he opened his eyes and looked straight into his father's anguished face his lips moved but no sound came out Then he saw Bulbul and his face lit up. I knew he would make it. He said brokenly, "I knew he could." Come here, Bulbul. The horse came and lowering his head, he rubbed his nose against his father's against his master's cheek. So this was the reading of our lesson 7 run bulbul run if you have any doubt or query you can ask me in the comment section below also don't forget to check the description box for the links to the other chapters thank you everyone